Barcelona, Spain and Lisbon, Portugal, two major European cities that charm every visitor with their food, culture and great coastal lifestyle. The question is, which of these two places is best for living? Let's figure that out. Hi guys, this is Mariano, welcome to my channel. In order to compare these two beautiful cities against each other, I will analyze eight different categories to see whether Barcelona beats Lisbon or vice versa. The rule is simple, the city that wins the most categories will have the victory. Number one, architecture. Let's start by saying that both cities excel this category as they have vast amounts of buildings that are beautiful and have different styles both in Lisbon and Barcelona. In Lisbon, you have the Pombalin style, manual architecture, neoclassical buildings. To put it in simple ways, you can be discovering medieval castles like San Jorge en El Fama, walking down elegant avenues like the Avenida da Liberdade or strolling through modern buildings like the ones in the Parque das Nações. In Barcelona, architectural highlights include Romanesque, Gothic, Neo Mudejar and of course the beautiful Catalan modernist architecture by the famed Antonio Gaudí. La Sagrada Familia, Casa Batilo or La Pedrera are just some examples of this wonderful creator. Another great thing in Barcelona is that you can see the difference between older neighborhoods like the Gothic Quarter with newly planned areas like Le Chample, where you have the Paseo de Gracia of the Sagrada Familia. This neighborhood, for example, offers a great balance of residential buildings with green spaces and several stores. On the other hand, in Lisbon you will find some of the oldest and best preserved buildings in the whole of Europe since Lisbon is the second oldest city after Athens. I'll start being controversial and saying this category ends in a total tie because Barcelona has wonderful marbles in architecture, but it's more homogeneous in terms of architectural styles. In the other hand, Lisbon offers much more variety of styles and older buildings. Number two, the cost of living. These two cities, unfortunately, are some of the prices options you have in Southern Europe. According to the site Numbio, as of 2023, you can expect to pay an average of 1,232 euros to have a one-bedroom apartment in central Lisbon, while a one-bedroom in Barcelona would set you up around 1,076 euros. For buying, Lisbon also remains the most expensive option, with an average of 5,465 euros a square meter versus 5,152 euros in Barcelona. Other costs like groceries or transportation are similarly priced in both cities. However, when talking about things like eating out, Barcelona can easily double in prices the ones that you can find in Lisbon. Having said that, it's also good to point that local wages in Barcelona tend to be much higher than the ones in Lisbon. Now, just because paying the rent or the mortgage tends to be the higher cost in most households, I would give this category to Barcelona. Number three, the food. Yes, Barcelona starts pretty high here just because they have the famous Spanish tapas like the tortilla or the croquetas de jamón. Nonetheless, Portugal also has great cuisine with famed dishes like the bitoque or the 200 ways you can eat bacalao. Both cities have amazing seafood options and would offer a wide variety of restaurants and cuisines to choose from. Now, talking about prices, in Lisbon you can easily eat out in a mid-range restaurant for around 20 euros per person. Well, if you score the daily menus or go to a local place, you can easily eat for 10 to 15 euros. Now, in Barcelona, you can hardly eat anything below 25 euros and prices normally sit above 30 euros per person. Also, something to point out is that I found that the Portuguese tend to be much more attentive in the restaurants in terms to see how the experience of the people eating there going compared to Barcelona. Just to give you an idea, I was eating out in a tapas place with two friends and then when we order food, some of the dishes came very cold. These two reasons are why I would give this category to Lisbon. Number four, shopping. Whether you're visiting as a tourist or living in a place, shopping always remains a crucial category. Both cities have great variety of luxury stores going from Louis Vuitton, Hermes, Prada or Gucci 
to the more affordable ones such as H&M or Zara. Nonetheless, I have to say I noticed that Barcelona had a larger number of stores to shop across the city. Considering that both clothing and electronic prices are quite the same in both places, I would give this category to Barcelona since they have a wide variety of places to shop. Number five, nature and parks. Let's start by saying that both Lisbon and Barcelona offer beautiful parks and great landscape across the city. Barcelona has places like the Parque de la Citadela, the park well with the beautiful Gaudi buildings, as well as the trendy Barceloneta Beach. In Lisbon, you have wonderful places like the Parque Eduardo VII, the Jardim do Príncipe Real, the Jardim do Praça do Imperio, or the Parque Forestal do Monsanto. Barcelona has a great advantage of having beaches right in the center of the city, like the Barceloneta Beach. Also, you can hop on a train and in 40 minutes be in stunning places like Gasta de Fels. Nonetheless, Lisbon offers a much wider coastline and offers easy access to different types of beaches going to the beautiful Carcavelos, Estoril or Cascais beaches. Also, because of its many hills, Lisbon offers plenty of miradouros which offer different viewpoints from the city. Because of its larger variety of green spaces, the bay views and also the easy access to wondrous regions just 50 minutes away, I would give this category to Lisbon. Number 6. Transportation Lisbon and Barcelona are both very well connected cities. Both places have subways, trains, trams and bus lines as well as a great airport near the center of the city. Lisbon also has ferry lines that will connect you with further away districts across the Tajo River. Nonetheless, I have to say that I noticed that Barcelona had much more subway and train lines that were very well connected to the center of the city and to the outskirts and also that trains tend to be much newer. Also, I have to point out that Barcelona Airport seemed to have much more connections than the Lisbon Airport just because of the larger influx of tourists they normally have. Because of these two reasons, Barcelona wins this category. Number seven, safety. I'll start by saying that by exercising normal precautions, you shouldn't have any problems either in Lisbon or Barcelona. Nonetheless, it's also true that Barcelona crime has been increasing in the last couple of years, as there were not only many cases of pickpocketers, but also robberies of people with watches, especially in the areas around Las Ramblas or the Barrio Gotico. On the other hand, Lisbon remains one of the safest cities in Western Europe, offering not only low crime rates, but an overall sense of security. Another thing to consider in Barcelona is that due to political situations related to the Catalonian independence, you may see yourself in the middle of protesters right in the center of the city. So that's something else to keep in mind when visiting Barcelona. Because of these two reasons, Lisbon wins this category. Number eight, the culture and the people. Now, this one's a little bit trickier because your experience with the people and the local culture can easily make or break your decision. Barcelona has definitely a unique culture based on its Catalan heritage, their language and traditions, which are quite different from the rest of Spain. On the other side, Lisbon has a super rich history because of being the capital of the Portuguese empire, being rebuilt after the devastating 1755 earthquake and being a thriving metropolis. Both cities offer plenty of castles, monuments, churches and museums that reflect their own culture. In terms of people, I have to say that the Portuguese are some of the kindest persons you can ever meet that will go an extra mile to help you at most times. On the other side, although people in Barcelona are polite, you can expect a much more impersonal treatment just because they seem to be tired of how much tourism they normally get. So in my biased opinion, I cannot avoid giving this one to Lisbon. So there you have it guys, based on these 8 categories, I would claim that Lisbon is better to live than Barcelona. Needless to say, this was my conclusion based on my experience in Lisbon and Barcelona, but you may have a totally different opinion based on your preferences or your situation. For example, if you're someone looking for a local job in a city, then maybe Barcelona is a better bet just because wages tend to be higher than in Lisbon. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe and make a comment, let me know your thoughts. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.